I'm pleased to share with you that the PsyD program was fully approved by the APA this year, the American Psychological Association, making St. Elizabeth the only institution in the state of New Jersey to be fully accredited at the doctoral level for psychology and one of only 40 programs in the United States. And we also recently started a master's program in nursing administration and management. And they also received high praise and were uh, fully accredited. We uh, developed this year a new honors program. We now have an honors program that completes in three years if the student chooses. We've already admitted for the fall 11 students to that honors program. I'm pleased to share with you that we have cleared the next to the last hurdle to open a speech and language pathology program. The program will be unusual in that it's a three plus two program. Students will do their first three undergraduate years in a, in a communications related major and then their two clinical years in the speech and language pathology program. We will be the only program in New Jersey offering that model. So this year we joined a consortium of 49 schools across the United States who are all small private colleges to share majors. So any major another institution has, our students can potentially log on and join that major. We were just recently notified by the state government that we've been picked to be a model institution in providing online learning to the EOF program. And because of the work that we had done this year with the EOF program, moving it online, um, we've been awarded $46,000 from the from the state government to continue our work and to advance that work and begin to share it with others in the state of New Jersey as a best practice. We're opening an esports arena. Um, our esports arena is finished. It's actually a burgeoning area for majors. And so we will be looking at majors that complement the esports area. So be more than just a place to play games. Our year over year retention rates continue to be very good. Our first time freshman retention rate increased this past year by 6%. Our continuing studies uh, retention rate increased by 13% and our graduate students increased by nine. We will start in the fall a computer loaner program for all of our students. So any freshman entering um, in this fall is required to rent a computer from the university unless they can demonstrate that they have the same quality of computer that we're going to be providing. Our faculty and staff in the student life department took advantage of this year to spend the year training. They are all now professionally trained mental health first aid workers. Uh, we were chosen this year by unique venues as the best venue for a movie or film. Part of the Chicago 7 was filmed here, as is FBI's Most Wanted, and we're now waiting to fulfill two other contracts for, for TV programs on campus. We received um, a, a communications award this year called the Cubby Award, and we received it for the best magazine, and we also received it for the best campaign. So the campaign that we did announcing the movement from college to university, we were recognized for those stories. Uh, as I reported to the board yesterday, we're gonna finish the year with about $140,000 surplus. So we've done very well in the face of COVID and students not returning, but we're about $20,000 ahead of our annual fund goal. And let me just say before I stop, because if I forget, I will, I will be miserable with myself. I hope that you all are proud of your institution. I am so indebted to each and every one of you for your continuing commitment to the institution, for your personal contributions, for your financial contributions, time and talent. You know, we very much appreciate it. I see some of you on the Zoom or people who support our students in our mentoring program. I see others of you who are on Zoom today who have worked with admissions to help us with admissions events. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope that you give Dr. Crosby all the support that you've given me.